Last week, popular genetic testing company 23andMe announced that it has been sold in a bankruptcy auction. The buyer is a pharmaceutical company, and that leaves questions about what happens to a database of detailed DNA information on millions of customers. In on your side, consumer investigator Shannon Bankin joins us now with the details. Jane Keith, this deal still has to be approved by the U.S. Bankruptcy Court, but if that happens next month, it's expected to close a few months later. 15 million consumers turned to genetic testing company 23andMe to learn more about their ancestry and understand their disposition to diseases. The buyer of this data is Regeneron Pharmaceuticals, which says it is acquiring substantially all of 23andMe's assets for $256 million. Several lawmakers and even the FTC have expressed concern about what could happen to customers' sensitive data. When the company filed for bankruptcy in March, March, meaning the company and its data was for sale, I sat down with USF public health professor and attorney Jay Wolfson. You say it's valuable. Who's it valuable to? It's valuable to pharmaceutical companies. Uh, it's valuable to uh, any medical research organizations. It's valuable to large investment organizations that are interested in identifying the characteristics of potential populations to buy products and services. Because they're so valuable, a question is, can they be used for alternative purposes, sold to insurance companies, sold to marketers? We're talking about the saliva sample and detailed genetic profile of the user derived from that sample. At the time, in an open letter to customers posted on its 23andMe website, the company said, quote, any buyer will be required to comply with applicable law and respect to the treatment of customer data. But privacy experts point out this data is not covered by federal HIPAA laws that protect patient privacy. There's no federal system that is going to be able to guarantee the protection of those things. Some state laws may, but this is kind of new territory. Privacy experts and some state attorneys general advise customers to delete your data. Here's how. Log into your account and go to settings. Scroll to 23andMe data, click view. Scroll to delete data and click permanently delete data. A court-appointed privacy ombudsman will assess the deal and present a report to the court next month. And again, if the sale is approved in court, it is expected to close later this year. So what is Regeneron going to do with this data? I mean, here you're a big pharmaceutical company. What are, what are they going to do with it? Well, there's lots of questions, but the president of Regeneron has said that the company has a proven track record of safeguarding personal genetic data, and they hope to further its efforts to improve health and wellness. But so hopefully there'll be some good out of it. Yeah, maybe so, but mm -hmm. just in case you want to delete it, do what you said. That's just right. Follow mm -hmm. those steps. All right, thank you, Shannon. If you have a problem that needs solving, you better call Bank at the telephone number. 1-855-BANKIN, or you can always reach her on Facebook at WFLA Shannon.